series. The first part is up on my YouTube channel right now also. Um, it had me playing a tax-related game, and it had me playing a social anxiety-themed retro visual novel experience, I guess, would be the best way to describe the other one. Both of them were really fun, short experiences. This one is fun. I actually really love it a lot. Uh, it is not a short experience. Uh, as such, I'll probably be doing this for about an hour. We'll see how you guys like it. Um, this is a indie made, of course, um, sort of first-person exploration and puzzle game. My attraction to it is mostly through its aesthetic, um, in case it hasn't already become super apparent. I am very much into the um, retro, vaporwave, VHS kind of style. Uh, this game oozes that, but it doesn't just have that, which is why I'm playing it, because I've played a lot of vaporwave games that have all that, but underneath, they're not really all that much. There's not that much to them. This game combines that stuff with genuinely some very smart puzzles, uh, good atmosphere, and just like a fun gameplay loop. And all that will make more sense once I get into it. Now, this is probably going to be the most hardware-intensive game that I've ran and streamed, so I, I really hope my computer doesn't drop frames. Um, theoretically, it shouldn't, but, you know, that's just a theory. And it, literally a game theory. So we will see what happens. Um, but yeah, so that's really all my preamble. I'm just going to launch this baby. And hopefully this isn't like last time where like every game I try to launch crashes in some wonky different way. Because that wasn't the best. Uh, hold on one second. Get that capturing. There we go. Alright, I'm going to turn my volume on my headset down a little because that's some loud tunes. Alright, let's see here. Okay, so you guys are seeing that. Broken reality, use your mouse to look around. Here's some credits. That's quit. That's a user. We're actually going to go ahead and delete the progress of this. Pretty serious stuff, but I just love you guys so much. I feel like uh, I feel like we got to start a whole new game. I want you guys to get the same exact experience I had. So yeah, this is where we start. Um, if you have any form of epilepsy, I'm not sure. But I'm just going to throw it out. This may not be a good series for you to watch. I just want to cover all my bases. This has a lot of trippy visuals, so I don't want anyone to be uncomfortable. Anyway, I'm going to walk. Oh, we got dolphins. It's cute. We got a liker. This is like our main way of um, interacting with things. You know, like on Facebook, except this has real world applications. We can press tab to open our adventure menu. Oh, listen to that dial-up noise. Whew. This is uh, this is our world. There's actually a lot to see. This is our ranking system. We got logbook with quests, of course. Items. This is control stuff. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Well, how to play it is pretty straightforward at first. So this is a internet paradise we found. We have to sign up over here. So let's talk to this cute anime ghost girl. Oh, of course, her name's Oni-chan. Welcome back. Pardon me, I must have confused you. Well, not really, but, you know, go off. Uh, who are you? Don't worry, I've already prepared a newbie account for you. I suggest you can meet the top users that come here. And if you become trendy, you can go meet the admin. Who doesn't want to meet the admin? You know? Although, actually, you never really know. Just because someone's the administrator on a, in a server on a game you like, 
doesn't necessarily mean they're a cool person you want to meet, but we're gonna we're gonna believe it. We're gonna suspend our disbelief. It is a very cool anime person with no eyes. It upgrades automatically when I have the required amount of likes. Amazing. Gonna be patient while she drops that door down for us. Happy roaming. Thank you, Oni Chan. Uh, Alright. Let me just take a look at. Okay, I haven't dropped any frames. Sorry, I know it's annoying that I keep stopping. I just want to make sure. So you can go around and collect likes, um, but you can do other things to get them too. So, there's a whole bunch. But you know what else we can do? Also, I really like this picture about ready to transcend, see? So we're gonna click it. We like that. You like some Fuji water? I do. What about these people? We can't like them. Wanna see me trying? Where'd you get that wiper? I know. Zen Master keeps his legendary blade, but I don't care. What about you? What you doing later, pretty pants? Okay, these guys are thirsty. What's this person? What's your name anyway? Oh, they're they're all busy talking on phones. We'll just leave them alone. Go check out what's over here. Oh, look, the birds are like little emails. <laughs> this game has a certain charm to it. Uh, looks like we can't get in here yet. Clearly, this is not a virus, though, because it says it right there, and you can't lie on the internet. But, uh, yeah, we can't do anything about that yet, so we're going to leave that. I'll buy some, uh, some za saved VIP water. Which is actually how we save the game. See? Saved. Pretty nifty. Make sure we've saved our game. And just collect some more of these babies as we explore around. Look at this beach. We got a sick looking beach down here. What's this? Pony Galaxy Online. I think we can all agree that that's. Looks like some DeviantArt style stuff. Or maybe, I guess, what would it have been in the 90s? Like, I don't know. I mean, I was I was alive in the 90s. I was on the internet in the late 90s, but I didn't, I didn't really, uh, I didn't really mess with that sort of stuff. Look at this dude. He's, oh, he's, in, come on, keep dancing. Look at that sick dance. All right. Yo, oh, I bought a raw data tea for my crew and GF. They're all coming from GeoCity, of course. Should be here any minute now. Want one? Of course. Okay, but help me out with something. Alright? I don't want to get stuck in here at all. I need a big bunch of likes so I can move on to Axis Plaza. How about you take a picture of me and I give you the key in return? Well, I, I don't have a camera, but... The shacks along the beach might have one. Alright, so... That's our first quest. <clears throat> wow, look at that. Do you think that this is water? Here, hold on. While I take a sip of my coffee, let's just philosophically analyze here, right? This is like a vaporwave world, so is this actually water, or is it like a sea of, like, crystal Pepsi? Excuse me. Also, this music is kind of banging. Hold on. I love the atmospheric sound. I don't know. If you guys aren't listening with headphones, you might not notice, but the, his stupid little boombox actually has directional audio programming. A lot of cute little touches in this game. Uh, so, yeah, basic gameplay loop. Collect likes, like pictures, do quests, get new stuff. Am I special? Check now. Gotta check that. You don't gotta tell me. I know I'm special. What's this? The Pirate Bay. I mean, you are looking kind of cute, though. I like that. Ah, I got to give that five likes. This place is kind of cool. Not much I think we can do here yet. We got a ball. Got some more likes. Okay. We got another save box. Of course, we need to always be drinking that saved VIP. It actually looks like it would probably be good. I like the can design is nice. 
I'm a sucker for a good can design. Keck. K. I don't think that keck was actually a thing people said during the time. Well, whatever. Look at this. <laughs> it's, an, it's a literal internet surfer. That's sick, bro. All right, let's check this place out, huh? Photo Hut. I bet you anything we can get a uh, get a camera in there. I mean, we might have to give out some likes, but we got them to give. Look at all these photos. What a good job. Hey, is that you again? It is. It's been a very unique day, hasn't it? It has indeed. Moments like this should always be shared with friends. Yeah. Have you been making friends? That's kind of a targeted question. I'm not going to answer you. Uh, yeah. I mean, I have that one guy who wants me to do something for him. That's kind of like a friend. You should always capture your memories with your friends so you never forget them. People in these huts just love it when you take pictures of them. Really. Take this camera. Yeah, now I got a camera. So now I can either use this, or I can use this and you actually get likes for taking pictures but you don't okay so this is going to explain it take pictures of camera tokens um they look like this they look like the camera um they're black and white when you can't get them but you want to get you want to try to get as many of these in one image as you can to get the maximum amount of likes just like real life so uh so like there's two here but if we move up now this three, you snap that, you got like a good amount, right? And those are everywhere around the entire game. This isn't just like a quick gimmick. So you gotta be always flashing shots with the game. You know, like cool kids say. Um, so what ends up happening is that you, you're kind of gonna end up walking around with your camera up a lot of the time when you're trying to complete this game. But for now, what's your name anyway? Damn, you're never going to get anywhere with that kind of grammar, dog. Uh, all right. So those people loved having their picture taken, as we saw. Oh, I guess they do show up when the camera's not out. That's weird. All right. Wow, they're using hashtags. These dudes are way ahead of their time. All right, we got them. Now, is this strictly necessary? Not right now. Um, for now, we can get away with uh, with just like kind of doing this when we want. However, for full completion, yeah, you're gonna be hunting for these things. And like, it might sound kind of obnoxious, but it's actually pretty fun. I would love to know what's going on here. I'm gonna just. Need some bikes. That girl in the entrance. These guys all really have one track minds. They really like that that girl in the entrance, I guess. Does, do they realize that the girl in the entrance is the same one that's down there? Some questions will never be answered. Appears to be nothing in this room. Whoa! Alright, dude. He liked the last version better. Well, did the last version allow you to friggin' live on the ceiling? Because, oh, that's disconcerting. Let's just get out of here. Uh, oh, this is a character. Is that a Sonic OC? It's a Sonic OC, bro. Who's this? Can we talk to you? He looks kind of sad. Chronic. His name's Chronic. Chronic the Hedgehog. Look at those eyes. He's been, uh, he's been puffing the devil's salad. One step at a time, Chronic. Gotta take it slow. Go with the flow. I'm exhausted. Damn, bro. This is your brain on drugs. Don't do drugs. I mean, or do. It's your life. <laughs> Moving on. Press Q and E to drop. Yeah, we've already figured that out. <laughs> Yeah, Chronic the Hedgehog. That's my boy. If I were to be represented by a creature in a game, it would probably be him. All right. Bam. Kick it up. All right. I kind of feel like like a voyeur walking around just like taking all these people's pictures. I'm just going to quickly do that. 
you guys will find out sooner or later that in, in a lot of games, I'm sort of a compulsive saver. <laughs> um, I kind of had an incident as a kid where I lost my Final Fantasy VII save data uh, in the final dungeon with like 99 hours maxed out timer and all that. Uh, I had a Mad Cat's memory card. Shout out to Mad Cat's. They ruined my childhood. Uh, we had a power outage one night, and that was the end of that data, so I got to start over. Also, it looks like we just ranked up. We're now rising. We would be, like, on the trending page of Twitter if there wasn't much else going on that day. That's, like, where we're at. Which is where I one day hope to be. So, it allows me to, uh, to live my dream. Look at this. This dude's gonna love this. That's a sick picture, bro. Yeah! Alright, give me some... My friends will love it. Have some tea. Why is his portrait just his chest? I mean, it, he looks great. Like, the six-pack? Not even gonna lie. I'm into it. But, like, this sombrero. Also, his name is... M Mameter? M M okay. Like, the arcade emulator? Alright, I got. I completed a quest. I got a bunch of likes. But, I have one question, bro. Where's my tea? I mean, you said you were gonna give me tea. You lied. You know what? Now I need a picture of your lying face. For my... Whoa. No, you're not supposed to be happy about that. We're in a fight. I thought here... Oh. Whoa. I like that. I actually hadn't seen that before because I haven't, like, intentionally tried to walk out of bounds. Also, I appreciate the, um... I appreciate the... Um... Fuck. I totally lost it. Sorry, guys. I'm still waking up. Oh, yeah, here we go. Chronic Adventures 2. Gotta go slow. Uh, Eriza Chronica. Gotta go chill. Gotta go. Uh, gotta go high. Chronic TM. The OG got your back this summer. Made by Hotbox Studio. Oh, no, it's on the Hotbox. For your, for all those kitties. And it's rated dank plus 10. Can I order 10 copies? All right, anyway. Um... Check out what's in here. Credit machine. Can't do anything with this yet, though, because uh, cause we don't have a credit card. And you know what? We're better off. Just throwing it out there. Credit cards, generally, you don't... I mean, in some situations, they're great. But they're very easy to go down a slippery slope with. Oh, look, it's a, definitely a dude I would have hung out with in high school. Oh, actually, he looks like a LARPer. All right, hold on. I don't mean that in a negative way at all. I love LARPers. I would love to LARP myself. Uh, all right, let's go talk to this fine gentleman, see what he has to say. <clears throat> what kind of voice would this guy have? Why is everyone here such a new? They haven't even made it to Trendy yet. I like his little neck beard pixels. Oh, I'm sure you're trying, though. Wow, so in three sentences, you show that you're a dick, you can't stick to your opinions, you backpedal, but yet you still hang out in this noob area. All right, well, I think we learned more about you than me, so goodbye. What else we got? Waterfall. Very pretty waterfall. Seems to be a camera icon up there. It's not a regular one. We can't do anything with it yet. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I, I didn't really point this out. This is sort of... I don't want to say Metroidvania. That's going way too far. Because there's no combat, really. Um, but it has some elements of that. There are a whole lot of areas we're going to gain access to and shortcuts we'll get throughout the game. Don't look back. S86. I'm just such a sucker for the aesthetics of this game. Like, that's 99% of the reason I wanted to play it. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. And there's the logo of the game right there, Broken Reality. I love how you can, like, line it up so it works, but then if you come around the corner, it's literally broken. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get some sick tunes. I don't think any of the music in this game is copyrighted, mostly because 90% of it sounds like Vaporwave, and by definition, most Vaporwave is not going to be monetized or copyrighted because it uses so many... Um, outside sources and such. It's kind of a whole thing to get into. Um, the music is a very important part of this game, though. The atmosphere is kind of predicated on it in a way. 
So I, I'm going to keep it on. If I get any, in any trouble for it, that is terrible. And I'll take care of it, but I think we're good. I think this is all original music. Um, all right, so we've been down there. we talked to her. We've looped around. So as you can already see, see, we're back where we started. So there are a lot of little shortcuts here, which will become very helpful um, as we start getting more quests to do. So we haven't really explored this plaza yet. Just gonna buy some soda real quick. I guess this is definitely water, not soda. So we got what looks like a Japanese style arch, or we got what looks like a vaporwave person's wet dream, or we got well this whole this whole game is that, so we're gonna go to this first. You always want to be getting likes. Always. It's the most important thing in the world. You need to always get them. More likes. You don't like me enough. Oh, actually, I can show you guys kind of a secret, I think. I don't know if I can get to it yet. Alright, so I think this is the sword master we were hearing about a couple minutes ago. Ooh, listen to this. Listen to the soundtrack. Also, these flowers are pretty cool, huh? They're like, uh... I like some Wi-Fi flowers. I really like how the the like characters you interact with are often like flat, two D sprites, just kind of thrown into this. It's very cool. I like it. I, in case you haven't figured it out yet, I just am a sucker for this game. Also, I like how there's a Bluetooth symbol and a Wi-Fi symbol. Alright, so we're going to talk to this dude before we do anything else. What's he got to say? His name's Chozai. Take your shoes off! So tell me, have you come to learn the path? Can you tell me what makes you worthy of my teachings? Um, I like your attitude. I once kept this land free from malware and spam, but my katana was shattered into three pieces. Bring them to me, and I shall reforge my sword for you. Then you will become my successor. You must also bring me a can of data tea. Well, I have that, actually. Very important to keep hydrated. Oh, is that what he's drinking? Data tea? Ha ha ha. Now, go forth. All right. So, now we can look and see that we did actually get the data tea from, um, from that guy. For some reason, we also have his photo in our inventory, even though technically we should have given it to him, but whatever. Um, so yeah, we gotta find three pieces of this dude's katana. Um, and that's really all the hint we get. But, before we do that, let's see what's back here. Oh no! This elder made a fortune with one simple trick. Shit, tell me more. Uh, that ain't working. We'll have to come back later. Let's see. Have any cameras around here? There's one right there. Let's see if I can get that one too. Uh, bam! Alright. And uh cried to your cup. I liked it. Um okay. What's this about, huh? Well, check this. Yoink. Yeah, you know. Like, just like in real life. Also, the Illuminati's here. Hold on. I didn't know that was there. I just had a feeling. There's usually a lot of camera icons nestled around where you find secrets like this. Hello. Can I talk to you? Oh, it's an item. Triangle found. Let's see what it says. Except it's not actually in my inventory. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's a little suspicious, if you ask me. But uh, that's all right. Let's see what's down this way. Also, I like that the um, the foliage is really just like it looks like PC chips, like motherboards or something. Where is this gonna spit us out? Can't go down there. Ooh, a like. You see, you can really get likes anywhere. That's the moral of this game. You don't have to... Oh, look where we are. Ready? Boink. 
and we're back. We've looped back around. See what I mean? There's so many of these little shortcuts. This is like the Dark Souls of Vaporwave. <laughs> Sorry, I like kind of want to just shut off my stream now out of shame for even saying that. But anyway, uh, so we know our quest with him. I'm just gonna buy some very, very thirsty. Grab some of that. We can't get in here yet. I can't go to the vapor wet dream yet. So let's run out over here. Let's see. Makes me wonder. No, no secrets. All right. We could have kept going in that other direction, but I kind of like just branching out. So this is actually another loop. This whole place is basically a huge square. And grab those. See if we can get any more. Look at all those likes in there. If only we could get in. All right. Oh, there's our beach friend again. I'll leave him alone. We've had our fun with him. Look, we found the virtual plaza, as spoken of in the legends. Um, there's a lot of people here, relatively. Actually, hold on. Before we go down there, there's at least a few things around here that I can interact with like this. Time is all you have. I'd say time is one of the most important things you have. I don't know if say it's the only one. Super tech support. Oh, look, it's our friend again. Welcome to Natum's super tech support. How are things going? Um, where's the admin? You can find admin in the office under the luxury pool. Is that like a tier three donation type of place? Pools closed. Really? That sounds familiar. Uh, you may have to find some way to open it. Once there, he can grant you access to Axis Plaza. How are things going? Well, what's Axis Plaza? Natum's user distribution hub. From there, you can quickly access other worlds. Ooh, that sounds exciting. All solutions, one place. All right, that was a lot of information, thanks. Um, it's gonna take some artistic pictures. It is your future safe? Habeas core, winning at life. I don't really like that. I mean, I'm, yeah, whatever. Do, 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 do. Oh, I won! Shit, I need prizes. Come on, give me the prize. No, that ain't working. All right. Damn viruses. Oh, look, we found the floral shop. The floral shop, hey. The only thing we're missing is that little bust sitting there. All right. Um, let's see. Ooh, spooky. Hey, another one of them credit card machine things. Still can't do anything with it. Ooh, here we go. There's some... That's some jams. Let's just make sure I let everyone know how much I love Fuji water. It's very important. Everyone needs to know at any given time what I'm doing, buying. If I, you know, used the bathroom recently, it's the only way you build a presence online. Um, all right. What is this? That looks like a zip file. Is it? Oh, we unzipped it and it was actually a katana part. So we must have that like WinRAR um, trial installed. <laughs> because like, you know, nobody, nobody pays for this shit. All right. Um, sorry. I'm not saying I pirated it. I, I just like to try it. I'm just going to save in case the uh, FBI investigates me for that comment. Hold on one second. Sorry, making you guys listen to the delicious sound of me sipping some coffee. God, I just want to sit here and jam to these, these tunes, though. Uh, ooh, look, 
we found, well, we found those, but we also found some, <laughs> I forgot. These are three Moai statues. They're called MWA. Look at these dudes. These are the coolest dudes. What's this guy? Pardon me, my name is Mr. Drone. MC Ram, sup? I'm DJ Advance Poet. Sun's insufferable this afternoon. Being a statue is what's insufferable, fool. Would it be too much of an inconvenience to bring us some sunblock? I'll help you out. I got you. Thank you so much. You'll find sunblock at the center mall. A mall? I love malls. Bring you the shopkeeper's cap. It's actually yours. Are you sure about that? I was fine with the sun, with the sun uh, sunblock, but I, I don't know if I'm okay with stealing people's stuff. Oh, and a pair of sunglasses for you. Well, yeah, you would look cool with some shutter shades or something. Post haste. All right. So these are some of them lyrical rappers. Like, they use words like post haste. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Warning, your UR computer is not good. Please use antivirus. All right, um... God said, give money and you shall receive. Did God say that? I don't think he did. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not exactly like a devout Catholic or anything, but uh, I don't remember that part in the Bible. Let's just continue on. That's where actually where we came up from that other thing and ended up going down the waterfall earlier. You can see the, the arch from here. I haven't actually gone to this little area yet, but I don't think there's much here. Yeah, I mean, we can see some cool stuff, but we can't actually get in there yet. So, seems like we've looped back once again, which is honestly fine because we can still progress further in this direction. So that's what we're going to do. So this is, uh, this is our sensei. Still can't do anything. We have one part, but we don't have all of them. That's where our secret was with the Illuminati. And uh, yeah, now we're going to come in here. Wow, this is looking pretty cool. As is that. Seems odd that there's no camera symbols around, but just get a drink. Delicious. Is that... Yeah, whatever. Alright, we'll go in here. Here's some cameras. Ooh. Damn, I forgot how good the music in this game really was. Sorry, there might be a lot of moments in this playthrough where I just, like, <laughs> kind of sit here and jam. Sorry. I don't know. It's like this. Augment your polygons. This over here is like a... Like an integrated graphics card, right? But over here is like a GTX 3060 or whatever. So, I mean, is it worth the $1,200? I mean, you tell me. This person looks a lot better. All right, what do we got here? Could it be another? Oh, that must be like the um, the hilt guard or whatever. I don't know. I don't use swords. I'm not trained in the ninja way. These dogs are pretty cool. I like them. Oh, they look kind of scared, actually. I'm into it. All right, um. The Dragon Road. Is this where you go to buy, like, some uh, digital meth or, like, order, like, some special services? Uh, we're not going to find out yet, but we can kind of look inside. I don't know. It looks kind of boring. Let's just carry on. I'm sure we'll find, find out what's in there eventually. All right. Let's see what this place is all about. Lots of ones and zeros. Whoa. Camera icon's way high up there. Wow, look at this lush environment. Truly the best of what the 90s had to offer right here. Did you know in the 90s everyone lived in places like this? They only drank Crystal Pepsi also. And all websites were like GeoCity style. Actually, that's not even that. That's not that. Alright, I ranked up again. What rank are we now? Now we're an eggplant. Oh, sorry, we're trendy. But the icon is... <laughs> the icon is literally a dick measuring contest. I love it. Um, hold on, sip of coffee. 
And um, I should, as an aside, thanks for bearing with me yesterday. I had a couple streams planned, but it just didn't really work out that way. Feeling a lot better today. I should probably be kind of a parent, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we found a new area. This is a no pad. Looks okay. It looks like a makeup palette. Whatever. Ooh, that's some mood music. Look at all these camera symbols. This is everything I need, except one of those is the kind that we can't use yet. Is that a frog? Tired of not jumping? Try stairs now. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, I thought that was good. Okay. Oh. oh. Looks like we got a timer puzzle. Well, we move way too slow to do anything with that, so... Can I get the fourth one? Can I? Can I? No, that, that ain't happening. Let's be realistic. I don't know exactly what the range on this camera is, but I mean... It kind of looks like one of those ones you would buy at, like, a Kmart. Uh, for like five bucks and you'd like start a fight with your parents because you needed it so bad Then you'd use it like twice and the batteries would die and it would end up in a landfill Speaking of I actually uh, I don't know if you all spent a lot of time in Kmart's but uh recently I found an archive of the tapes of ambient Muzak they used to play in the stores I found the one that was actually playing on the day I was born uh, That was quite a trip to listen to I gotta say maybe I'll even share it with you guys at some point if you're into that sort of thing. I know this isn't really everyone's cup of tea, so my other series will keep going. I just... This is this is near and dear to my heart, this type of stuff. i going to do that. Let's, let's, let's talk to this dude. He seems on the level. I know. Do you, have, you don't have anything to say? Great. Actually, I guess it would be weirder if a frog had a lot to say, right? There's the third katana part, by the way. Uh, I think I'm just gonna soak in this crystal Pepsi for a minute. Oh, what is this? A bookmarker. Okay. Right click, delete bookmark. Left click, add. So, okay. Use Q and. Yeah, I know. So, there's a bookmark. So, what happens? Ooh, it's a teleport device. So we gotta save our favorite web pages, all right? Yeah, I know. So this is kind of a cool little. This plays into a lot of the puzzles later. This game has some really cool stuff going on. I, I think I've said that a few times now. But. So watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna place a bookmark right there, okay? You know, this kind of looks like that Dragon Ball tracker thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking out my ass. All right. So we're gonna make those stairs go up, right? Now, bam, we get to try stairs. Hell yeah. That felt good. Um, that's odd. Why, is this another secret area? Hey, I actually didn't know about the, this one. All right. What do we got? A broken, uh, broken credit machine. This looks like it could have been one of those Moais. We got some animal sounds. Oh, my new GF. It's Cortana, uh, Windows 95 edition. Boot in. Using inner void on destroy set want equals true. Enjoy it while it lasts. What? Um, I'm not going to lie, that didn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, I'm not like a leap programmer or anything, but uh, I think something's borked in there. So I'm just going to leave you to deal with that, I guess. Nothing else hiding in here. No more other Squidward tentacles I should be aware of. All right, moving on. Actually, I, I just noticed that the secret areas in this game are actually signposted really well. Because, like... I don't know how I never caught this, but they seem to always put, like, exactly one like in, like, a very odd area. So all you gotta do is just try to clip through the wall and you'll find it. I don't know how I missed that on my first playthrough, but, oh, there's the luxury pool. Fortune is... 
fortune fortune is blanking looks pretty luxury in there looks pretty cool but can't get in yet we're not we're not liked enough we're not fancy enough just yet we can see the plaza from here Some great views of the mainframe the motherboards etc I wonder if it wants us to go up these stairs. What do you guys think? I don't think so. Let's go this way. Now, this is cool. This is actually the top of the floral shop thing. Um, we're not going to go there yet. Actually, you know what? We're going to place a bookmark, and we're going to go down here. So just want to check something. Okay, there. I just wanted to make sure. I couldn't quite remember if there was like a... An item or something I could get. I think there is later, but. Huh, interesting. Oh, tell me that. Oh, this wasn't a secret. It just knocks me off. All right. <laughs> wow. All right. I fell for that one. So let's, um, let's go up here. Let's get a drink here. <sighs> hmm. We've got progress saved. Oh, could this be the other katana piece? Yep, there it is. Now we got all the pieces. Now we just got to make our way back to our sensei, and then we'll be able to have some antivirus software. Now, I guess this could kind of function as a shortcut, because we can just sort of... Yeah, see? Bam. I mean, man, this music is jamming. All right, we're just going to go get the sword. We're at like 45 minutes, so we my goal for the rest of this. I'm going to get the sword, break into this little plaza here, show you guys what it's all about. And, uh, and then I think I might actually do a series on this game. I think it's probably only like six or seven hours long. Um, so probably like a week or something. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I'm really getting lost in my tangents today. Uh, let's just talk. Oh, that close up though. I had a good feeling about you. This sword was forged with the darkest materials from the deepest webs. They say it can vanish even the most resilient virus. Resilient, you say? You sure you're not the virus? You've learned much at last. Someone I can name. Well, yeah, I did learn a lot. I learned how to use Winrar. Oh, I get to go to his dojo. Thank you. Quest complete. Let's see. We got a Zen garden. This place is very relaxing. I'm assuming this is the sword. I don't know what those Japanese... Are there Japanese characters? They are, right? Oh. Alright, let's see how this baby works, but first, of course, we gotta save, you know, you're playing with sharp objects, you gotta be careful. Alright. Yeah, I know. Tell me more. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, ads. Oh, you know what else we can do now, actually? Uh, go run down to that little place with all the likes in it that we couldn't enter before. <clears throat> we'll come back to you. But I want to go and get all those likes from that little... A little like patio place from earlier this this is like one of the most important objects you get this opens up so much stuff so next time we play we're just gonna be slashing shit down and you get likes for every virus you get rid of bam all right let's pick all this crap up huh Look at all of these. People like me. They really like me. Oh, there's like a credit card machine back here for if you got to take out some money to get some more of that delicious Crystal Pepsi. Um, there's where we came from. All right. Uh, so we got all those. Really nothing else we can do in here for now. Um, so now... We're going to let ourselves into this sick plaza we heard about. Because I think that's where we're going to have to be for a lot of the, um... 
a lot of the quests we're trying to complete. So let's see what this place is all about. Bam! Gotta be some pictures to take in here, right? Oh. Ooh, listen to this jamming music. I'm already into this. All right. Uh, wow, look at all these stores. Think of all the stuff we could buy that we don't need. Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm all about. All right. Let's check this place out. Hello, fellow shoppers. I also like fashion. I am a human that likes human things like fashion and clothes. Oh, God, the music. Something I should mention is that you, I think you can actually purchase the soundtrack to this game on Steam separately. So, like, if you guys are liking it, but you're not sure you'd actually enjoy the game, just buy the soundtrack if you want. Because these developers, they really deserve, like, a good amount of credit for what they've done here. Um, it's This is not as shallow an experience as you might expect. Because, like... Let's be real, this aesthetic is really easy to just sort of coast on, because it's just so cool to look at. But this game went the extra mile and gave a lot of substance. Um, let's just check out what the shop is. This is, uh... What is that symbol? I don't know, something... You pay, I guess. Oh, sick. Is that a Rolly, bro? Not like an AP watch? And here's a Chaos Emerald. We should bring this to Chronic. Alright, uh... Anyway... Get credit. All right, hold on. Get credit. Wow, okay. Uh, let's talk to my friend Oni-chan. Isn't it supposed to be the other way around? Like, I thought that... Nah, whatever. I'm happy you finally joined us. You look good today. Have you been eating well? Um, I guess. Good. Show those veggies. Who's boss? Here, treat yourself to anything you want. Remember to keep hydrated. So let me get, so, okay, so I'm a junior shopper, right? So this, just use the card to buy everything at the store, right? The more you spend, the more likes you get. Like when you see like Mr. Beast and he's like giving away three Ferraris, this is why. Because it's like a simple equation. Credit card equals buying stuff equals people love you. It's like, it's like a basic rule, right? So check this. I got the Chaos Emerald. I got that AP watch and the Rolly watch. I need two watches. And on top of that, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to swipe it in here and uh, buy some likes directly. What do you think of that? All right. And, uh, yeah. So now that we have this, we can really have some fun because all those card machines we've been finding, we can use now. Oh, okay. Maybe it's not fun, but whatever. Um... Let's see. Let's, let's investigate a couple more shops. Oh, I love that Fuji water. Mm. All right. uh, like I said, I'm trying to keep the camera equipped as much as possible so that I can always find these icons. Oh, it seems like there's actually not anything to do up here yet. I say yet because a lot of things seem to pop up later on. We'll check that out later. Get in there. See what's up here. Is that Bitcoin Mart? Well, I only have a credit card and I'm a junior shopper, but I'm sure they'll still like me, right? Can't do anything with that yet. In stores, when you purchase an item, a combo counter will start. Just like real life. Like when you go to like GameStop and you pick up, um, I don't know, like Shovel Knight. Then if you also pick up another indie game real quick, you actually, people like you more. Actually, that's not far from the truth in a way. Uh, so we're gonna, so we're gonna go on a little spree here, all right? So, t oh, first of all, how can you help me? Do you have sunblock? You, they have sunblock. Um, can I have your hat? Ask for money? No, you can't give me money. Also, his name's A Jose. Um, but there is something you have that I want, and I believe it's on your head. You know what? Let's just, uh... First of all, can I take a... Yeah. 
Also, so instead of Doritos and Mountain Dew, we're being real realistic about it. We got Dorados. That's fine. But then we got we got Fat Kid Soda. I feel targeted. All right. Um, some Sprite Sheet Soda. Now we got to find some Scoped. Now we got to find whatever that is. Some Four Chold. That's like beer, I think. And then we get, we got like this Zero Cool. Now we need like a bag of these uh, Sick Beats Bro chips. Oh, they're mixtape chips. Um, Orange Fanta C. We got a hot mixtape, cool mix. That's like my mixtape that I drop. Uh, some data T. Where is that? Ah, shit. I might lose my combo. Oh, no, we got it. What'd you do today, son? Oh, I got a sick combo going at the store with your credit card. Um, as far as I know, the only reason to do this is just, like, to watch your numbers go up, and I think you might get more likes at the end, but, I mean, watching numbers go up is, like, my life. Oh, I got Pro Shopper. I did way too well. I'm a Pro Shopper, but here's the thing. We're not a Pro Shopper, because we need to actually buy everything in the store. Um, to be a real Pro Shopper, we have to clean them out, right? Because all the cool guys, they come in and they're like, hey, give me one of everything. Um, for, oh, it's called Four Cholo. <laughs> Arizona. Ooh, this can design is amazing. I can't read that Arabic character. I'm sorry. I don't know what it is. I'm not as cultured as you probably assume. Or don't assume. Don't assume anything. Dr. Pervert. Okay. Alright, I don't know if I want to put that in my mouth, but we got some Fuji water, of course, which I love. Needs some more cool mixtapes, some sick beats. Uh, some fat kid. Uh, what? Is that this one? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> I actually haven't had anything other than, like, seltzer and black coffee for like going on half a year now and like all kidding aside i feel fucking great like don't get me wrong i loved that shit but man i feel like i'm carrying around so much less grossness in my body at this point uh we got flaming Ch oh master shopper hell yeah all right we're just going to make this a little easier to get a big combo by buying everything except for these two shelves. Oh, actually. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we're going to buy this uh, blue balls instead of red ball. Damn. Got some feelings about red ball, I guess. Some more fat kid soda. Just what looks like vitamin water in a can, but it's called Dank Memes. Delicious. Uh, sugar abs. All right, it's kind of gross. Tropical wasted, delicious. Um, some more scoped. Oh, there it is. MLG approved, of course. We got some Sprite Sheet. Mmm. Some delicious 8-bit. And we'll have some 404, some Cholo. I'm gonna get this uh, purple drank. That's not real. That's not accurate at all. It has to be in a double styrofoam cup. Bro, do you even listen to rap music? <laughs> uh, we got some bass, coffee, cola. Gross. Of course, Crystal Bepis, the most important of all. Um, Orange Fantasy. It's not the real life. Tropical Wasted. We need some, uh, some bass, coffee. So I got Floral Shopper, and there's my sunblock. Look at that. Um, can I please have your hat? Maybe, maybe he's not the one with the hat I need. Um, so I actually tried coffee flavored cola a couple years ago. I think it was like a, a Portuguese supermarket near the place I used to live that had it. And I got to tell you, I love coffee and I loved soda. That shit was whack. That was whack. That was not about it. It didn't really taste like coffee or soda to me. Uh, all right, we're gonna go to one more store. Let's find let's find a really cool store, right? Whoa, is this like a is there something back here? I think I found something. 
All right, which wall can I walk through? I know your secrets. Oh, okay. That was it, I guess. Damn, you know what? I was talking about some good signposting. I think it's actually kind of like using it against you at points, too. Can I get out? Can I not get out? Oh, there we go. Whew, I was worried I was trapped. All right, um, bald excuse. Well, if there's anywhere that's going to sell a hat, it would be in here. And I bet you anything we're going to see a bunch of boomers trying to, like, relive the glory days. Oh, sick. A, a red box logo, suppose. Bro, I'm such a hype beast for this shit. I'm just kidding. Uh, whoa. Holy crap. I'll never be as fashionable as this guy here. Like, look at this. You can't even, you can't even match that. All right. I actually, I'm going to screenshot this for some fashion inspo. All right. Um, all right. Well, you know what we're going to do? First, we're going to... Can't take it. Can I buy your hat? Aha! All right. We got his hat. Now we got to get this hat. You know, one hat really isn't enough in today's day and age. You always got to be ready to match with the next aesthetic. So we're just going to clean the store out just to be safe. These are some expensive hats. That hat was like a hundred bucks. This hat is a couple hundred bucks, I think. Uh, yeah, these are like, this is like if you went to like the Armani exchange store or something. Get weak. Uh, another nuke. There's a pronounced nuke. S86. Oh, feeling high? I am not. Uh, at least not, not right now. Some Japanese stuff. Tropical Wasted, of course. Uh, we're gonna buy this one. R and K. Uh, this is New Joke. Ooh, this creepy face looking thing. And, uh, what do we got here? Oh, this is Slay Station, I guess. Um... Macho Motors, all, all important, really. Um, oh, what up? Oh shit, it's that boy. All right. Um, I guess I'll let this game get away with that since this clearly is going for like a past aesthetic and that meme's been dead for a long time. All right, so we got everything here. Let's talk to Mr. Doge Man. Oh, is, sorry, his name's Fudoboto. <laughs> Friend, want to hear a story? I... I warn you, it is sad, but we cut the music off, what have I done? Before all of this, Natum was just a small server created by two friends. They invited their friends in, who in turn brought more people. As it grew, investors showed up. And the two friends had a huge disagreement. One of the partners called it the end of fun. The other one called it organic growth. Well, this is a very familiar story. You can pretty much guess which way they took. So when Natum expanded, users started to isolate in different sites. Paywalls, restrictions, monthly subscriptions. Yeah, it's like if you want to watch The Office, you got to pay for your own thing just for that now. And then everything went to shit. Yeah, it seems that way. The partnership dissolved quickly and one of the humans took off. Nobody knows where they are today, but their account was never deleted. They're in the code of the game. Now you feel sad inside. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So that was very productive, I guess. Um, all right. We're going to just check, like, one more thing out. First of all, I guess R&K is a lipstick company. That lipstick looks amazing. Yas, queen. All right. Uh, hmm. Any cameras up here? Void box 8S. Oh, sick. I do need an upgrade. Looks like it's got a touch screen built in. That's never going to catch on. Uh, what do we got here? This is just going to lead us back around, right? We could jump to get that one like, but you know what? I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm not that in need of a like right now. Let's see. What do we got here? 20 shades. Is this like the prequel to uh, Fifty Shades? 
Like, it was just into the sunglasses and not, you know, the rest of it. Alright. Uh, I don't feel comfortable liking that. We'll just like this one. I don't want to, like, give the wrong impression of the shopkeep. Let's get those six shades. And, uh, we'll get those six shades. Get those six shades. Oh, shutter shades. Perfect. Um, okay, decent shopper. Uh, oh, there you are. What is that weird visor? There it is. Uh, okay, decent shopper. All right. Got all those. Yeah, hey, this could be the twin of um of that dude who's hanging out calling everyone a noob. Just a few more days and I'll be able to afford supplies for the journey back home. Well, I just bought out your whole stock. Did that help? Uh, it's called credit. You should get one of them. Nothing could go wrong with just swiping it for everything you want. Uh, uh Oh, look. Is this? It is another shortcut. So we're back. Now let's see. You saved our lives. This means a lot to me, yo. This was always my favorite cap. Oh, oh they opened the Dragon Road. I don't know why they had the power to do that, but I guess they're really happy with what I got them. Wave goodbye. Let's see how they're looking now, huh? All right, so we got this dude with his sick hat. We got this dude, he is looking pretty tight with these shades on. I am sort of confused about what's happening here. Maybe we should have explained to this one that you don't eat it, but, you know. We'll find out soon enough, I guess. Um, let's see. Should be another store around here, I think. Maybe it's up here? Oh, well, actually, I guess not, but what's this? What's through here? Another shortcut back to the Natum support. But uh, I think we can actually access a whole new spot now. Probably for next time, to be honest with you. Let me just make sure it's not like right here. No, it's not. We've looped back around. Um, so, yeah, so that's where we're going to end things off for today. So, so far, we're all the way up to. Um, what does it actually say we are? Hold on. Uh, we're strong. The picture is literally like a flexing shit. Uh, also, we're 22 grand in debt, so I hope it was worth it for all the likes we got and like the um, the hat. We got some cool hats and stuff, I guess. Um, oh, you know what? With all my talk about being a compulsive saver, I literally just almost quit without saving after making all that progress. That was great. Uh, so. I have one more sip of this saved tea, data tea. Progress saved. We're going to just park ourselves right in front of the virtual plaza here. And we're just going to quit right out. Are you sure you want to quit? Nah. Yeah, for, for now. Um, yeah, so that was Broken Reality. Um, if you liked what you saw and you want to actually play it for yourself, as opposed to watching me bumble through it and talk a bunch of shit, um, it goes for, let me just check, it's $14.99 right now. Um, I should point out this, I don't know if this is the same team that made Hypnospace Outlaw. Um, it's connected in some way because there's a bundle you can get. This game also has a demo if you want to try it out. Uh, Hypnospace Outlaw will probably be the next indie that I play after this. Um, and it's in a very similar vein. Um, also... Um, there is a, a digital soundtrack available for this. Uh, it's $10 on Steam right now. And it has... Oh, you know what? Um, I need to give out some credits here. Because now that I'm looking at this soundtrack... Uh, let me just flash this up on the screen real quick. Because I, I, I thought some of these songs sound a little bit familiar, and now I see why. This DLC includes FLAC and MP3 versions of music, all right? That's cool. 
So some of the music is original by Raul Feliz. Good job, dude. Some of these are made by pretty notable, um, pretty notable vaporwave artists. Like we got NXS up here. We got uh, this core guy, General Translator, Broken Canyon, Cyber Reality. My absolute happiest inclusion is right here. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Death's Dynamic Shroud, I believe, is a partnership of two artists. Um, they pretty much put out what I consider my favorite Vaporwave album ever. I know this is unrelated to gaming, but they have an album. It's called I'll Try Living Like This. If you have any interest in this aesthetic, uh, the music, the sounds, anything that you saw in the stream, it's free to stream on Bandcamp. Just go check it out. Just dip your toes in. I promise it's worth it. Uh, but I'm going to leave this for a minute. Uh, this is all the songs. Credit out to all the people who created and included their songs here. Seems like DDS only has one song in the game, um, which is fine. Um, but a lot of these I have heard before for sure. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to do for today. Um, and yeah, that's Broken Reality. I hope you guys have fun watching me play it. It might seem like you know what we're getting into. I promise you, there's a lot more to come. So if you had fun watching this today, uh, stick around. We'll be back tomorrow with more of this. Um, I might also be doing a Morgana stream tonight. I've kind of been slacking on that the past few days. For those of you who might be following that, I might be doing like an hour-long stream of that tonight just to make a little more progress. Um... It seems from looking at, like, who's watching what, though, that these little indie things I'm doing, you guys are a lot more interested in. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop visual novel read-throughs, but I'm probably going to focus on the indie side of things a little more and see how that goes. But yeah, if you guys had fun, if you haven't stopped by before and you liked it, feel free to follow me. I've been streaming most days for the past few weeks. I plan to keep doing so. Um, and yeah, I'll see all you guys later. Have a good day.